dynamic today. This is nice of me, thoughtful. We thought we had a little rehearsal right here in front of you. I mean, you know, we're all professionals and there's not a chance of anything could possibly go wrong with a brand new truck that we've never played before. It's Mike Rowe. Right, Mike? I said nothing could possibly go wrong, right? Because you check this and you get a new music software and you listen back to it. Yeah, that's what we're going to do today. The software going for you. You play the record and then you went to bed and you woke up and there was a beautiful transcription of Ostrich Walk in the morning. How about that? Well, that's the future for you. I hope I live to see that. Maybe I can actually sleep one day. And this is a tune that was recorded originally in 1918 by the first band to make the jazz band, the original Dixie Line jazz band. And Bix was a great fan of theirs and did a number of their tunes uh, during his career. This is Ostrich Walk as performed by Frank Trumbauer and his orchestra in 1927. Okay. <laughs> by the way, if you had to pick one year in jazz, where if I could pick one year in jazz, for sure, that I would go back to where everybody was around and playing at their best. I mean, 1927, Dick and Tommy Peter singing the blues, and Potato Head Blues, and Jello Roll Morton's Red Hot Pepper. And it was all happening in Chicago on the south side. I'd probably hang out there for a bit and head over to New York to see what was happening there. And that was the year, right? Everything. Fletcher Henderson. Uh, and uh, all right, so here's the let me take the nineteen twenty seven.
It's one of the great joys I have in playing this music with these guys is that we've all listened to the same records. And things happen that we don't plan, there's nothing written down here, but sometimes we just know we've heard the same record. And I was thinking about Mike Goldridge, who's back there somewhere, where are you, Mike? Right here. Who's listened to all those records and has always been a great influence on so many of us that it came later and had to put those records for introducing us to so many great old records. Uh, so, I tell you what, I'm going to have to put in a swap uh, in the two numbers that you have to do in the next one. So, we're going to get Josh and Ron up there, and we're going to keep Connell up here. Uh, Eddie Lang was on this, and uh, we don't have um, Johnny Donato in here, do we? Okay, he didn't show up, but Eddie Lang I called this morning and said he couldn't make it. <laughs> So um, we're going to do it with just piano and one cornet, and I guess Bix only plays, uh, Bix only plays uh, two bars on this. Why does Bix only play two bars on this? Does anyone know? Why? Because Bix was playing piano on the record. Right, Bix played piano, so we're going to do it, uh, we're going to have Mike play those two bars, and then uh, Tom will play the part that we're play that piano. And this is a tune. Uh, it was issued as um, Tran, Bix, and Land, and it's called For No Reason at All in C. In the KMC. <laughs>
66 people and whatever it is. That's amazing. Wow. Dude, everybody has those these days. You know, you know, you their phone. Beautiful piano by Tom Price. How about that, huh? We're going to do one of the best recorded ones of all the whole brains right now. It was a hot tune of the day called Big Boy. I, I, I imagine we wouldn't be playing this today if Vince had to play it. It's really not one of the better tunes, but Vince plays beautifully on it. And we're going to do his, uh, <coughs> his whole tournament part in a three part run. Big Boy. Bob Atkins on the Bow Bass.
Слава. Мы делаем главное дело, и мы будем на этом делать. Мы делаем дело, 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 мы Unfortunately, on this next two, called Because My Baby Don't Mean Maybe Now, written by Walter Donaldson, the written in song by Bing Crosby. It would be nice to be in the studio with Paul White and George Jr. in 1928. And Bing in the studio. I believe it's been 28 years. Yes, okay. Um, and uh, let's I'll pass this over to you. Take it when you need
Broadway show cast. Is it too much already? So how was it? Not as bad as I thought it would be. So far, it's been another 18 years yet before the, the jury's back in. But we'll see. Um, we're going uh, to finish up. We've got time for one more, right? One more, yes. Right from our state. Uh, right. We're going we're gonna to do uh, Mississippi Mud. Another song that was recorded actually twice by Vic, once in 1927. <laughs> 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 and then, and then, with Ben, and it's, I think it's the only record that, that uh, Crosby did with Frank Trumbauer's band. Yes. And correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a rejected tape of From Monday On that no one has ever found from the same session. Isn't that right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> it does it, it, that's right, it doesn't exist, it doesn't it never happen. Well, it, it's listed anyway. So if anybody has that, see me after class. And then the, uh, the issue kit, Paul White and Drug Mr. were both by Irene Taylor, I think. And uh, I don't know, so by Irving Izzy Friedman, who I found out uh, recently was the grandfather of a young girl I went to school with uh, in high school. Now I know, right? Too late now, but um, <laughs> he's, he's around me, he's been talking to me. So this is the moment we're going to play some, uh, some of the stuff and people are harmony. Before we do that, I just want to say thank you again to the incredible musicians on the stage, Colin Farmer, Sam Campbell. Thank you, Sam Campbell, Sam Campbell, Sam Campbell, Sam Campbell, Sam Campbell, and John and Kenneth Kenneth and 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 are the last ones out there at all because I bought all of this stock that Barbara's Rentners had and that's it. And they're gone, they're gone. So buy them now because if you find them after this, you probably have to pay $3,000 on Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> they are $20. Where can you have so much enjoyment for $20? Take this home with you if you like what you heard. So uh, that being said, thank you all for joining us here. We're going to be back at 8 p.m. over there in the Waterfront uh, Center. And right after this, stay tuned for dinner. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Thank you.
you all again. And that was a tune called Prohibition Blues by the Missourians. Well, warm is Jubilee, and um, it's nice to see you all again. How's everyone doing? I hope you all got dinner and you're ready for a whole lot more. In this set, like I said earlier, I know some of you were there, we're going to be featuring a whole lot of music that's all from St. Louis or related to St. Louis. So we're going to continue with a number. We did one by her earlier. This is a tune that was done by Victoria Spivey. And uh, she did it. She's a good, one of the best. She did it just a couple months after coming to St. Louis to do recording. Her first one was Black Snake Blues. And this is a tune called Got the Blues So Bad, recorded in the same year, 1926.
little hard for me not to talk too much because I love all these songs that we're doing in this set so much. But uh, so I'll try and keep it short. We're gonna do a song right now. This was done by a fellow named Red McKenzie. If you know anything about Red McKenzie, he got his start in St. Louis with a hot comb. And a guy across the street, he could play kazoo. So the Mountain City Blues Blowers began and he just went on from there. Everything he did was just wonderful stuff, full of energy. We're gonna do a tune that he did in 1935 right now called Murder in the Moonlight.
uh, some St. Louis blues for you. There's a whole lot of it. I'll tell you that right now. There were several, many, many female singers, all from St. Louis, and all equally great and unique. And there were a whole lot of piano players from in St. Louis doing very, very just unique and different styles. So we're going to do a couple tunes for you right now. This first one is Peeping at the Rising Sun. Features Mary Johnson and Henry Brown.